Hey guys, it's Nicole. So I love throwing parties, especially in the summer. I do a lot of DIY centerpieces that are really easy to make and really inexpensive. So I'm gonna show you centerpieces for three different kinds of summer parties. A summer garden party, summer beach party, and a summer campfire party. Now as you guys remember, I did centerpieces for Jenny's baby shower and also my kids' birthday parties. So you never want a plain table at your party because it's just boring. You have to kind of dress your tables up with what theme you're doing. So centerpieces kind of make the party, it's a statement, and it just makes your party look that much more awesome. The first centerpiece we're gonna do is for your summer beach party. So you need a glass, and I'm just gonna fill it up with sand. And then we're gonna add the shells. Cute. You could get these in any size. So this is like a, a normal, like small size, but you could actually get bigger ones, and you could fill like these big things. So if you have a really long table, I would get like a bigger vase and throw this shit in there. But if it's like a nice, decent table, these are perfect. So I'm gonna leave mine a little bit smaller. And we can throw some flowers in there. And then throw in some of these mini shells. Just to add a little pop of color in there. And look how cute that looks. So this centerpiece is gonna be for the garden party. So you're gonna get a tin bucket, fill it up with water, and then I'm gonna use fake flowers, because I love fake flowers and they last forever. And then you have candles. You can throw a bunch of them in there. Very simple and it's gonna look beautiful when the sun goes down. So this is another option for a garden party. So you can either use it as a centerpiece or you can give it to your guests as like a little, a little gift. So what you need is a mason jar, already filled with soil. You can add some rocks to make it kind of look deserty. And these plants are really cheap. They're like just a couple bucks. You know, it's not crazy expensive if you want to get one for each of your guests. So you're gonna throw some Rockies in there. That's good. Nice layer. And then we're gonna add a little succulents. Put it in there, toss it in there. <laughs> Maybe we'll do the other one. There you go. And just fill the sides in with rocks to make it look pretty. And then after the rocks, you throw in some moss. Looks very gardeny. We got some twine here. And then just go around. Cut. And you could just tie a knot or do a bow. Simple and beautiful. So this is a campfire themed centerpiece. So you're gonna need some nice big old rocks. Um, nice big old rocks, a nice wood palette, some tissue paper, preferably orange and yellow, and a little candle holder. And a candle, real or fake. So the first thing we're gonna do is glue the rocks around. Go like this so you know exactly where your glass is gonna be. You get a hot glue gun, and then you're just gonna glue the rocks around. So cute. Dying. So the next is we have to put our flames, our fake flames, onto the candle holder. So with that, you're gonna use just regular glue. And it's tissue paper, so you don't wanna use a lot of glue. So just put a little dab on. All right, so you're gonna smooth it out with a brush. Tissue paper is very delicate, so you gotta be really careful. And then you're gonna add the flame. So the reason why we're using tissue paper is because tissue paper is transparent, so you can still be able to see the candle when it's burning. Okay. There you go, you got your fake flames. Throw it in there, and there's your little campfire. So cute. Make sure you guys comment if you have any other ideas for other summer parties and centerpieces, because I would love to try that out as well. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more of my DIY goodies. Mwah.